peace to the gods. In this video, we take a turn into that of the world, the material realm, to address this illusionary system that yet we all have to address. Do not make, not mistake, I do not wish you to live within the world of men, but I wish for us all to come to master it, to have dominion over this land. But we must learn how, learn the qualities of a man who wants riches. As it is written in the Kibalion, do not confound it with the concerns of the multitude. Do not let yourself be deceived with the products of the present era. Consider the words of the master, avoid riches which concern the masses. Turn not your heart to things that perish, for there is nothing wrong, child of light, to desire riches. It is your birthright. Set it unto your mind eye. Set it the thought hidden unto your heart to see what you vision come to reality, to be, and it is, to truly, oh, verily state thee, I am that I am, Exodus 3, 14. Let us preface this video with two scriptural scientific wisdom from both the Quran. To not let us mistake, our aim in this video is to teach you to be in the world, but to understand, overstand, and understand it. Surah al hadid 57, 20. Know that the life of this world is only play and amusement, pomp and mutual boasting among you, and multiplication of wealth and children. It is like the vegetation after rain. Thereof the growth is pleasing to the tiller. Afterward it dries up and you see it turning yellow. Then it becomes straw. But in the hereafter is a severe torment for the disbelievers and forgiveness from Allah and His good pleasure for the believers. And the life of this world is only a deceiving enjoyment. John 2, 15, 17. Do not love the world or anything in the world. If anyone loves the world, love for the Father is not in them. For everything in the world, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes and the pride of life, comes not from the Father but from the world. The world and its desires pass away, but whoever does the will of God lives forever. What we aim to teach in this video is more the love of self the love of being and becoming within the world. To actualize your highest state of existence and not let the world and the false challenges be of any distaste in you. Let us first speak on the law of desire as famously written by Napoleon Hill in this vintage yet legendary book. Think and grow rich. Only those who become money conscious Every accumulate great riches, write Napoleon Hill. Money consciousness means that the mind has become so thoroughly saturated with the desire of money that one can see oneself already in possession of it. To those who have not been schooled in the working principles of the human mind, one must realize that all who have accumulated great fortunes first did a certain amount of dreaming, hoping, wishing, desiring, and planning before they acquired money. You must know that every great leader from the dawn of civilization down to the present was a dreamer. If you do not see great riches in your imagination, you'll never see them in your bank balance. We who are in this race for riches should be encouraged to know that this dynamic world in which we live is demanding new ideas, new ways of doing things, new leaders, new inventions, new methods of teaching, new methods of marketing, new books, new literature, new applications. Yet there is one quality that all must possess before obtaining anything new, a definite tense of purpose, the knowledge of what one wants and a burning desire to possess it. Let us break down this passage to see the key insights that we as children of light in this new timeline should come to understand. Power of thought and visualization. Hill's concept of money consciousness suggests a focused intention and visualization. 
This resonates with the teachings of Yahshua, who said, Therefore I tell you, whatever you ask in prayer, believe that you have received it, and it will be yours. Mark 11, 24. The ability to visualize and believe in the attainment of one's desires aligns with the spiritual principle of faith. Desire and Manifestation The idea that a deeply held desire can bring about its manifestation is echoed in many spiritual traditions. In Hinduism, the principle of Sankalpa speaks to the power of intention. A clear, solemn vow or a heartfelt, firm intention set in one's heart and mind aligns the individual with the cosmic forces, making the manifestation of desires more likely. Alignment with Higher Self The focused intention on wealth, as described by Hill, could be paralleled with the seeking of spiritual enlightenment. When one's mind is so thoroughly saturated with the desire for spiritual growth or divine connection, one's actions and reality begin to reflect that aspiration. Laozi, the Taoist sage, said, He who knows that enough is enough will always have enough. This implies that true wealth, whether material or spiritual, comes from an alignment with one's highest goals and intentions. Material and Metaphysical Balance While Hill emphasizes wealth accumulation, spiritual wisdom balances this by teaching that while we may master the material realm, we must not mistake it for ultimate reality. In the Quran, Surah Al-Hadid 57.20 states, Know that the life of this world is but play and amusement, pomp and mutual boasting among you, and rivalry in respect of wealth and children. It is as the likeness of vegetation after rain. This reminds us that while we navigate and seek prosperity in this world, we must be mindful of its temporary nature and keep our focus on higher spiritual truths.